Hey, Don Copeland here, and we're going to use the PTM One Step. I'm going to show you all printing on a black shirt. When we did our first video, we just printed on a light colored shirt. We had a lot of requests. I'm going to show you how we do it now. Simply going to use this is the uh, patented vacuum platen. We're about 10 times uh, the vacuum power of our normal platen for the printers. Go to lay this on. You actually see it, it'll actually suck this shirt completely down, nice and smooth. We've already set up our pre treat area. We hit the start button, going to load it. It is pre treating right now. It is actually tamping it down with the bar. You're going to see, and now it's going to come back and it's going to dry that completely off contact with the uh, patented heat ram. Just going back and forth now. It's actually scanning and physically drying the shirt. And what's happening is we're actually drawing the moisture through the shirt. So there's not any moisture escaping out. You don't see any steam or anything like that. It's being drawn through the shirt by the vacuum. It's also driving the pre-treat deeper into the shirt so we get a better penetration and a better set, better, better washability. All right, you're done here. We'll go ahead and take it off, show you here close. You can see nowhere you can tell that it's pre-treated. You'd have to know it was pre-treated and look really hard to see that it's on there. Un unlike when you do a traditional shirt with a heat press, I'm going to bring it over here to the original vacuum platen. This is a, a lower uh, pressure. You notice you can hear it sucking down. It doesn't draw down as much, but it does enough to hold the shirt in place. I'm going to go ahead and hit the load button. We've already loaded a design. Here, if you look in the recent menu, okay, we have design right here. I'm going to load that design. Once it shows up there, all I got to do is hit the start button and it'll print. Meanwhile, right now, if I was doing production, I would be over and I would actually be pre treating my next shirt. Done printing here. Let's go ahead and take it up. We're going to take it over here. We're going to lay it down on to the press right there. All right. We've already selected. As you see, we're in the cure mode right now. We're going to go ahead and hit the start button. It's going to load it in. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to cure the area that we've selected. There's our 16 boxes that represent the platen that will actually scan and find the boundaries of the print area and use that as the area to cure as well. All right, so it's done here. Let's pull it up here. I want to show you a couple things. Uh, number one, the shirt is dry. <laughs> no, yeah, it's dry. Number two is we don't have the box, which is one of the things when we started all this was to get rid of the, the daggum box that comes from this. Uh, number three, it's kind of got a nice feel to it. So let me go through exactly what we did. First thing we did is we loaded the shirt on here onto the one-step uh, pretreatment machine and curing machine. Once it got done, we took the shirt over to the G4, printed it on the G4, brought it back into here, and then we just hit the cure section, and it takes it in, and it cures just the area we've identified. We actually have this gridded out into 16 squares. We selected the squares down the middle and it did that. It also has the ability to take and it can scan the edges of this design and find just where the design was. So if we had a left chest or something like that, it would just cure in those areas. It means it's going to cure faster. It means that we're going to use less energy. It means you're going to have a nice feeling print. A lot of people want a lot of people want a feel of a print that's a little bit more like screen printing. And you kind of get that feel from this. And uh, they don't want that dead gum box. And we got rid of the box. So I'm Don Copeland with this is the uh, PTM One Step, printing on the G4.